Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Techie Sugan. In this video, we are going to learn about input output statements in Python. In the previous video, we have learned about how to assign a value for a variable. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to read an input from the user, then we are going to assign a value for a variable. If you want to accept an input from the user, we are supposed to use a keyword called input. And this input is a function. We are supposed to mention a parameter. By using input function, we are going to accept input from the user and whatever the string you are giving inside the parameter of input function will be printed. Clear? For example, if I give number 1 assign input followed by the parameter, if I give enter number 1, if I give such a way. Once you are executing, you can notice that it will ask for a statement enter number 1. If the value is given, it will be assigned for a variable name called number 1. Same way, if you want to accept for one more data, let me give enter number 2. Number 2 will be accepted from the user. If I give number 2 as 2, both the value will be accepted. If I am trying to do addition of number 1 plus number 2, you can notice that it is displaying as 32 instead of 5. 3 plus 5 should display as 5. Sorry, 3 plus 2 should display as 5. But instead of this, it is displaying as 32. So what is happening here? So what kind of output it is? Your output is displayed as your string format. If you want to notice what type of this value, this number 1 is. If you are giving type of number 1, you can notice that the particular number 1 is accepted as a string format. It is not accepting as an integer. It is reading as a string format. So by using input method it reads the data by using so it reads the data as a string it doesn't read the data as an integer if you're giving integer it doesn't read as an integer it reads only as a string type if at all i want to read the data in a concerned data type what i can do you are supposed to typecast it for example if i want to accept the data in an integer format i'm supposed to give int of input now, if I am giving the data, you can notice that data will be accepted in case of integer format. If it already have doubt, just do type of number 1. So, what happens? It will display the data type as integer format. The same way, you are supposed to accept for other data type also. If at all you want to accept for float value, accept as float. The same way for what are the other data types available? Integer, float and next is boolean type where you can accept your boolean values and one more thing is complex type you can accept the complex value by mentioning complex these are the different way for accepting an input in a concerned data type I hope so you are clear with this if at all you are accepting input by using input method directly it will accept only data in a case of string format so if you want to read the data in other data type you are supposed to typecast it by using concern data type so what in the case of string i want to accept name from the user am i supposed to typecast a string type it is not required you can accept directly by using input method don't try to typecast it it will throw me a error by default is a string type so no need of typecasting so if i give such a way you can notice that it is accepting input from the user as a string type clear this is all about your input function so by using input Whatever the statement you are giving inside a parameter will be printed. But this is not a mandatory one. This is an optional one. If at all required, you are supposed to give parameter value. If you are not giving parameter value also, it will be accepted. Clear? And if you want to accept an input in a concerned data type, you are supposed to typecast it. This is all about your input function. And next we will move out. Move next how to print the data in your output screen by using output method. And if you want to display the data, I will be using keyword called print. And the same way, whatever the statement you are giving in, inside your parenthesis of your print statement, it will be printed in your output screen. For example, if I give print, if I give hello as my string inside this, if I execute, you can notice that hello will be printed. If I want to print hello suganya as my output where name has been assigned with a variable name value called suganya. So if I want to print it just make use of this string whatever the string you want to just give here and follow by comma separator and call your variable name. So you can notice that hello followed by suganya is going to be printed. Clear? I hope so you are 
clear how to print the string along with the values. Next, we'll move on to if I'm printing more than one value. For example, if I give one more variable called location and if I give the data called Chennai. If I want to print name and location, I can call print name comma location. So what happened? Name followed by space followed by location will be printed. I don't want name space location to be printed. I want name hyphen location to be printed. In such cases, what I can do? There is one more parameter for print. That is nothing but I can make use of separate. By default, separate is separated by using space. I don't want to separate by using space. I want to separate by using hyphen. If you are giving separate, this is a predefined syntax where print will have values separate and followed by the ends and followed by file and and followed by your flush operation. These are the parameter of your print. I will show you what is the syntax. And now we will deal with this where by default separate is space. If you am giving separate by hyphen, you can notice that name hyphen Chennai will be printed. Here not only hyphen, you can make use of any special character whatever you want. There is no rule, rule here. Clear? This is the one way. The other way. If I am assigning two values, for example, let me make use of script mode here for this example. Let me give print hello as my first statement and next statement print how are you as your next statement. Clear? If I am giving such a way, let me save this file and execute it. I will save this file. With the extension py and now if I'm executing it you can notice that hello how are you will be printed but hello how are you is not printed in the same line it is printed in two lines first hello is printed and next followed by how are you is printed why this happens why why this can't print in a single line the reason is by default syntax of your print has here ends with new line it doesn't have ends with space or something so if i want to ends with new ends with the same same line i don't want to ends with the new line uh, i'm supposed to use ends if you want to know the syntax of print you can make use of help print so you can find out the syntax of print this is the syntax of print statement where let me break it here okay this is the syntax of print statement by default, you can notice that it ends with new line. Print statement ends with new line. This is the syntax. So, I don't want end with new line. I want to end with space. So, you are supposed to add end followed by space. So, now when you are executing, hello will be printed followed by space. Then, how about you will be printed. Clear? Also, you are clear with print. If at all you are not giving this ends with space, it will print, it will take the whatever the next print you are giving, it will be giving in a, it will be taken to a new line. If I, if I, if you are giving ends with space, it will be printed in a same line. Clear? And these are the basic how to access a printed print statement. There is one more method for accessing a print statement that is nothing but by using formatted string. Formatted string is specifically used where it will take the string only, input strings only in case of string format, where the string, it is specifically for your string operation clear i can use two method dot format method this is your first method and next method is f string method these are the two method where i can access your print statement let us move with first first dot format method where i can print hello i can have hello and followed by and if I give some statement dot format, I can have two string. Such a way. Clear hello parenthesis two flowers sorry two curly braces dot format. If I'm executing this statement, you can notice that hello Sugan and Ashwath will be printed. Such a way I can use dot format method or I can assign some variable name for it. I can assign x assign sugan and y assign ashwath 
If I want to mention first Ashwat then Sugan, I can mention X and Y. Now, once you are exiting this board, you can notice that hello Ashwat Sugan will be printed. Such a way you can assign for a variable name and print it. Or you can directly pass a variable name. These are the one way of using dot format method. Clear. And next we will move with format a string method. How can I use this format a string method? This format a string is almost similar to your format method. The only difference is you will mention f before to it. And here in this parameter, I will pass this variable name directly. For this first we are supposed to assign a variable. Let me assign a variable directly here. Let me have these variable x assign sugan has your x value and y assign ashwat as your second value clear now if i'm going to use this statement i'm going to see syntax for your f string so if you're supposed to mention ef and here in order of all those things let me remove it here what you're supposed to mention is x and y that's all this in case of f string method which we are using in our recent versions clear i hope so you are clear with how to use format method and format a string method this is specifically where string will where data will be handled, handled in case of string format and i hope so you are clear with how to accept the input from the user and how to display it if at all you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon thank you